Now on Eyewitness News, a junkyard find turned out to be a big hit on social media, a Hartford Whalers relic. Yeah, this is something. Or is it, though? Channel 3's Dennis House is here right now with all the details for us. Hi, Dennis. That's the big question. Or is it? Our beloved Hartford Whalers have been gone now for 22 years, but people all over still buy anything with that logo on it. So when the familiar green and blue, a symbol of Hartford, was found on a Zamboni, Twitter sort of erupted. Here it is, a Zamboni found at a scrapyard in Hartford's North End. It's definitely strange. It would be nice if it, was, if it was real, but we'll find that out you know, soon enough. For those who don't know, a Zamboni is a vehicle used to clean and refresh ice. It's rusted and in rough shape, but Let's Go Whalers can clearly be seen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Brian Rubin, a customer at City Auto Parts, was pretty excited. Hey, I'd restore the thing. You know, if somebody wanted to buy the parts, I'd, I'd do all the labor, you know, for the city. It's really, really the only thing we have. So the big question was this an actual Hartford Whaler Zamboni. Digital reporter Corey Polnow set out to find out. He checked the serial number with the Zamboni company in California and learned it was sold to someone in Long Island. The company had this to say. Our Hartford files show a different HD model machine and serial number, and eventually the purchase of a model 500 Zamboni machine. So what we have on file does not indicate that HAD 844 was one of the Whalers machines. And late today, a spokesperson for the Excel Center confirmed that, saying they don't think it's their Zamboni. So what is the history of this? Could it have been at a practice ring, perhaps? We're still trying to figure out, and we will keep you posted.